NAS or network attached storage, why should you get one? What are the advantages? I'll try and answer these questions and more. Welcome to Rich Man Poor Tech, a technology channel, and today is focused on about network attached storage or NAS for short, and in particular the MyCloud EX2 Ultra from Western Digital or WD. Now just so you know, WD do make two different MyCloud EX2s, and the one I'm talking about is the EX2 Ultra version that I have here. First off, what is the network attached storage? Well, quite simply, it's storage attached to your home or work network, a centralized storage that you can access from devices on your local network, whether that's something like an iPad, a smartphone, a computer, and you can store files like photos, videos, music, and important documents, a bit like a mini server for your home or small office. But the MyCloud EX2 Ultra can also be accessed when you're not at home, like a cloud service from, say, Apple or Google, etc but without those subscription costs. It also lets you have a WordPress host, but I'm not gonna get into that, as unless you have good bandwidth, I still recommend that you use a hosting service. Now, most of us live in a digital age. We have digital photos, movies, and important files. Most people keep them on the hard drive of a computer or laptop. And sometimes you have multiple computers. Okay, you might have an external drive, but there are problems with that, and I'll get into that in a bit. But well, having your files that you want kept on a NAS allows you, us to access them on different computers. Even if we update our computers or tablets, the files are still there. But as with computers, external drives and even the MyCloud from WD, they all have potential faults. And that is, what if the hard drive or SSD fails on your device? Now because of this, my recommendation is that even if you don't buy the X2 Ultra and you're looking at something like a a my cloud or my home, at least get the duo version or a mirrored version. What is a mirror? Well, basically you have two hard disks and on both hard disks you have duplicate copies, like looking in a mirror. Now this is done automatically so you don't have to make a copy of that file yourself and place it on the other disk. Just think if you have some photos of your child as a baby, their first steps on video, um, some financial information on a spreadsheet, your grandmother's recipe on a PDF, what if that hard drive on your computer and fails and you lose all that information? Or if your laptop gets stolen from your car? Now some of these files are priceless. It has a 1.3 gigahertz dual core processor, a one gig of DDR3 memory, and there wasn't any noticeable difference from my Mac's onboard hard drive to that using the X2. It was like I was working on the hard drive of my computer when I was on the same network. Okay, if my Mac had had a built-in SSD, maybe there would be more of a delay. Now, obviously, when I was away from my local network, then yes, it was slower because of the broadband connection. But on the same network, there was no noticeable difference. So what are the, some of the advantages on the X2 Ultra? What if your hard drive fails? Then you just buy another drive and the software on the X2 then makes another duplicate copy. What if I run out of disk space? Again, then you buy another couple of larger capacity drives. Insert one, let it make a copy, then insert the other and let it make a copy to that as well. Now the drives you take out are not wasted and could be used as an external drives. If you want, using the appropriate connector or even plugged into the USB at the back of the X2. How much? Well, as always, links to the, in the description below to the latest prices what if I don't care about the mirror function? Then you can join the two together for larger storage. What if I have files on my hard drive that don't want to be accessed by someone else, especially in my own home? Then there are securities to stop someone else logging into your NAS. And you can also set up individual users, for example. My wife has an account, my daughter has an account, and I have an account. And we all have a joint account. How do I know if it's working okay? And the disk hasn't failed? Well, it uses the reliable red drives from WD that are made for NAS, running at 54,000 RPM. Now you get notifications sent to you if, for example, there is a power cut or fan problem, and you can also access the dashboard on your computer's web browser to check the health. Also, there are lights on the front to indicate the problems. How do you connect it? with an ethernet cable plugged directly into your router or via a network switch. 
what can you keep on it? Well, the same things you can store on your computer. Now it also has DNLA, um, so you're able to stream to a DNLA device on your network, like a Blu-ray player or smart TV that is cap um, compatible. How do you connect from a smartphone? Well, I have an iPhone and it has an app from the App Store. I presume Android is the same, and it automatically backs up my iPhone and iPad to the NAS when I'm connected on my local network. So that's one less thing to worry about. Now, talking of apps, on the device itself, you can install iTunes server, Twonky server, Plex Media server, um, Dropbox, Amazon S3, Elephant Drive, FTP downloads, Google Sync, and more. Can you change the name? Yes, well, I actually have two of these, the X2s, and they obviously have different names. Did I need to? No. Why do I have two? Well, one I have for my home files, personal photos, etc. And the other I have for my work, YouTube files, videos, scripts, etc. Now, I could have a couple of different accounts just on one EX2 if I wanted to, but I decided to have a completely separate device for my YouTube videos, as I do have over 20 or 30 gigs of YouTube stored files. Now, I hope this has helped you. If you want to know more about a, a network switch to add more Ethernet ports, um, for using your NAS or smart home tech, then please click on this link. And if you want to know more about mesh broadband and how to get Wi-Fi and your advertised broadband speeds, then click on this link. So do I recommend the WDEX2 Ultra? I think that it's easy to see, yes. Thanks for watching.